braving the Monday morning chill for a good cause. Motorists on the N1 southbound caught a glimpse of this banner calling for the prosecution of those implicated in state capture. Outer says this is a way of speeding up the wheels of justice. We are a bit concerned that NPA and other law enforcement agencies are not doing enough in, in as far as prosecution is concerned. That is taking its toll to the public. The organization says it's because of civil society that former SAA CEO Dudumieni got to face the music. The only person who suffered any consequences up from the, the beginning of the, uh, the commission up until now is Dudumieni. And it took a civil society organization to take her to court and to declare her as a delinquent director for life. The NPA says it has set up a task force to coordinate and prioritize the state capture-related cases and that its investigations are going well. Motorists expressed different opinions on whether enough was being done to prosecute those implicated in state capture. I don't think so. But I must say, I like Judge Zondo, and I think what he does and what he did previously was fun. No, I don't think they're doing enough. Mm. I think they can do better. I would like to see publicly that some of the corrupt officials are being prosecuted. The prosecuting authority also reiterated that cases related to state capture could be enrolled with the courts in the next coming months. Offense Estimo, SABC News, Linwood, Pretoria.